As one of the big cities in Indonesia, Semarang has established a new central business area for the future of the city. This area will be mapped as one of the golden triangles of Semarang City called Petawangi or Petarongan, Tawang, and Siliwangi. The planning area is a part of Petarangan sub-district which is located in South Semarang district with an area about 25.9 hectares. Bearing the title as a part of Petawangi, Petarangan has a lot of potential that can be developed for economic activities. Its strategic location and supported by complete infrastructure make this area has a very high economic value to be developed as a new center of economic growth. Petarongan Market The center of economic activities in Petarongan is one of the big traditional markets in Semarang. They sell local products for daily necessities such as vegetables, meat, groceries, and clothing. This market also still applies a conventional shopping system where people across the city can come and make some bargains. The uniqueness of this market doesn't stop there. This market also has a very high historical and cultural values. Petarongan Market is recorded as one of the oldest markets in the city, which has existed for more than a century. Since 1916, during the Dutch colonial period in Indonesia, it can be seen from the architectural style that has been maintained until now as a cultural heritage. Petron Market also has a landmark in the form of a tamarind tree which has been growing for decades called Asam Arang Arang, which means a rare tamarind tree. Until now, the existence of this tree is still maintained by the community as one of the cultural wealth. However, all the potential is not completely perfect. There are also various existing problems such as the arrangement of the market, especially on the second floor, which is not occupied by the sellers. The existence of pasar tumpah causes circulation disturbance, river pollution due to market activities, lack of access around the market area, and poor sanitation in several parts of the settlements. But all these problems are not an obstacle to being able to create Patarongan as an economic center that is safe, comfortable, and livable for the surrounding community. Integrated economic development with livable neighborhood is applied in the design areas dominated by trade and service districts and also residential district. On collector and arterial streets in the design area, pedestrian path widening is carried out. There are also many street furniture on the pedestrian path such as lighting and trash cans to improve safety and cleanliness in the design area. The main entrance of the design area is on Lampersadi Street as a visualization of the area's characteristics. The area the design location is divided into several sections such as Residential The residential area is divided into two areas which are landed houses and vertical housing. The landed houses are designed with a face-to-face -face orientation to allow interaction. This residence is dominated by square and homogeneous buildings. Meanwhile, vertical housing is meant to accommodate citizens that used to stay at dense settlements. These houses also reduce sanitation problems. To support the concept of a livable neighborhood, each residence is equipped with green public space and trees to maintain a natural impression. 
This residential area is also supported by a garden as a place for recreation to and shade to beautify the environment. Linear Open Space and Surveillance The design of linear open space and surveillance functions as a boundary in the form of a green belt and also integrates the service street district and other districts. Linear open space is designed with street furniture and vegetation that stretch along the river and Patrongan Tangharaya Street. Market Area In the western part of the design area, there is Patarongan Market which is one of the oldest markets as well as cultural heritage in the design area. The market area is designed to suit the needs of distributors, producers, and consumers. There are also a parking and loading dock for the sellers in the other side of the market near the main entrance. Trade and service area around the market along MT Haryono Street. This area is designed with a predominantly square shape. Each building is equipped with a pedestrian path and vegetation to make it more comfortable for the visitors. Canteen Lion Along the designed linear open space, there will be canteen lion above it. Canteen Layang is designed with a futuristic modern style but still has the distinctive impression of the Katarungan area. This Canteen Layang is designed to minimize the disposal of garbage and waste from traders' activities around the river. Culinary Center and Trade Center The eastern part of the designed area there will be equipped by a culinary and trade center. The culinary center was created to accommodate traders and activate a quiet area around Sompoklama Street, which is really close to a public cemetery. The culinary and trade center is equipped with kiosks, place to eat, and parking area. The design of the culinary and trade center has a modern impression while still paying attention to the uniqueness of the region. Integrated economic development with livable neighborhood concept is given to resolve the problem with the aim of creating productive and livable economic areas for the surrounding community. For a better Petarongan, Petarongan Pijar Petawangi.